inclusivities also contribute to the process of nation and state building which remain unfinished parts of the national agenda. It is within our grasp as a nation and as a people to turn the corner. We must find the will to call a stop to all the factors that have hampered our progress to date. I must also draw attention to the issue of youth unemployment. This has to be tackled head on so that extremist groups, though the perpetrators of violent extremism and terrorism will not be able to recruit from a pool of unemployed youth for violent extremist action. In any case, the youth are not just part of our future, they are part of the present. And not getting them engaged is really depriving the country of robust, positive social capital that every country needs. And one of the, in spite of the underdevelopment of our continent, Africa, one of the things working in our favor that Africa is a continent with a young population, with a future that needs to be guaranteed. In conclusion, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to end by making the point that perhaps more than at any other time in history of Nigeria, this is a defining moment in our country for national unity, national integration, and national development. And the world is taking notes. It's no accident that in one week, you have the British Prime Minister coming to visit us. The German Chancellor is following. Our President is on his way to China, will be on his way to China. The world is watching. Africa is watching. In the past, against all odds, we have been able to overcome challenges that have faced us as a country. You must be aware that more than 50% of all civil wars suffer a return to war. We've ended the civil war with virtually no chance of returning, but we cannot be complacent. And that is why as the 2019 election draw near, we have to recommit ourselves to making it peaceful, free, and fair. The Broadcasting Corporation Commission, indeed all of us have a big role to play in bringing this about so that the forthcoming 2019 elections must be game changer. It is in our individual and collective interest to do so. We cannot and must not let our expressed differences along ethnic, religious, or cultural tribes define us. We are bigger than that. And we are certainly better together than separately. So that our diversity should and must form the basis of our vibrancy, of our rejuvenation and unity as a nation, so that we can achieve the goal enshrined in the famous, famous motto, E Pluribus Unum. For many who have become and should remain one. I thank you very much for listening.